All right, so here we have a question that's looking at R wave progression, and it says it's a true or false question that says normal R wave progression is seen in the following precordial leads, okay? So remember, when we look at R wave progression, we're looking at those precordial leads, okay? So remember, the limb leads are over here on the left. We are not even going to look there. We're going to be focusing on this portion over here, okay? These are the precordial leads, okay? Now, when we talk about R wave progression, what we're simply saying is that we're looking from V1 all the way up to V5. So V1 through V5, you should see an increase in R wave amplitude, okay? Or you should see an increase in the R to S ratio, okay? So what do we mean by that? So that's simply what it is. So let's look at why that's the case, okay? So I'll erase this here. And I'll put that criteria up on top so we can just make sure we're hitting on those things. So remember, V1 through V5, you should see an increase in R wave progression. Or you should see an increase in the R wave to S wave amplitude. Okay, so let's look at this. So remember, here's V1. Let's use a different one. Here's V1, V2, V3. V4 and V5, okay? We're going from the right side of the heart all the way to the left side, okay? So the these are precordially, the ones we put right on the center of the chest, okay, on the precordium, and they're going from right to left, okay? And normal R wave progression should increase, okay? And this is true when we're factoring adults, okay? Now, in children, it's a little different. Remember, when those children are in utero in those last 32 to 40 weeks gestation and up until that first month, the right ventricle is really dominating, okay? So you may see stronger forces on the right side. However, after that first month, the left ventricle starts to um, increase and kind of dominate because it's now providing blood to the rest of the body, okay? The lungs are now being used. Remember, in utero, the uh, baby, the fetus is getting oxygen from the mother, okay, and the lungs aren't used. So after birth, they take the first breath, the lungs are in use, and eventually the left ventricle becomes the dominant uh, ventricle of the heart, okay? So when we're talking about here, we are factoring in any question, I want you to assume adults unless we're in our pediatric course, okay? So here in normal R wave progression, V1 to V5 should increase in amplitude, okay? Remember, this is very important, the R wave equals the first or a positive deflection of our QRS complex, okay? So our R waves, that positive deflection, all right? If there's two R waves that are, we call it the second one an R prime. So here you can see that we have, these are the R waves, okay? So these ones here. So we want to see these R waves increase in amplitude from V1 to V5, okay? so. V1, and you can see that certainly going on here. So notice this is what we're looking at. Notice that the amplitude is increasing as we keep going through, okay? So what we would call that is, in fact, normal R wave progression. So this is true. Now we also mentioned something else. We can look for the R to S ratio. Okay, so what do we mean by R to S ratio? Okay, so let's use something we can see here. So here's a QRS complex, okay? Here's our R wave. Okay, assume this is the R wave and this is your S wave, okay, a negative deflection after an R wave, okay, so we can see that here and what we want to measure is the R to S ratio, so R wave to S wave ratio and what we should see is that the R wave should increase, okay, as this gets smaller. So eventually things are pretty much going up and you can certainly see this. Just imagine everything is going to heighten. The R wave should increase, okay? You can certainly see this. And the S wave amplitude is certainly diminishing, okay? As we move throughout, notice it's almost gone there and then gone in V5, okay? So that's what we mean by the R to S wave. Pretty much the R waves are increasing as we go through and the S waves should be shortening. And that's because we're going from the right side to the left side of the heart. Remember, we have our heart here. And remember V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, and V6, okay? Specifically, we're looking from V1 to V5. And as we go from the right side, remember the most anterior portion of the heart is that right ventricle. OK, 
okay? So the right ventricle is the most anterior portion, and as we go more to the left, the left ventricle is that dominant portion, so you should have stronger positive forces, and that's what we mean by normal R wave progression, okay? So that's why we see that, and that's what we have going on here, okay? So just to kind of, another way to look at this, which some may find helpful, is drawing up this so let's just kind of erase this so it's clear so again what we have here imagine this is v1 v2 v3 v4 and v5 okay we're not looking at v6 here so v1 to v5 imagine v1 looks like this okay and v2 looks like this maybe this is let's just erase this here okay so again start over those look a little better Okay, so you can certainly see what's going on here. Notice as we go from V1 to V5, you have the R waves increasing in amplitude. Okay, so the R waves increasing in amplitude, and you have the S waves decreasing in amplitude. So that's another way you can look at it, kind of going up a staircase. Everything is pretty much trending upwards, okay? The R waves go up and the S waves get shorter, okay? So again, the question is, normal R wave progression is seen in the following precordial leads, and that is certainly true, okay? So that's the end of this lecture. I hope you learned something. Please don't forget to like this video and leave a comment below if you like what we're doing. In fact, many of you have asked how you could help us out. Really, the best way you could do is simply subscribe and share this resource with your friends. And you get free access to more than 300 videos. There is also a community of over 270,000 of us like-minded individuals on Facebook. So stop over and join the EKG Guys uh, Facebook community. Many of you have also asked some questions. Leave them below or share them on Facebook, and we can try to answer them with a short video so everyone else can learn. We also have a number of new courses with corresponding videos coming out soon, so stay tuned for those. Last but certainly not least, your feedback is incredibly helpful and your kind words are always an encouragement on those long days. So let us know how we're doing. Thank you again for your support. It is truly appreciated. We are the largest, fastest growing EKG resource in the world.